Welcome everyone to the SCGA conducted US Open sectional qualifying here in Newport Beach where 99 competitors were competing for five coveted spots in next week's national championship at Pebble Beach. Let's check out some of the action and talk to a few of the qualifiers. All right, Stuart, qualified for your third straight US Open at your home club again. Pretty ridiculous 66 at Big Canyon today. What was working? I played great. Um, you know, I I'd kind of throw this under the bucket of, or the umbrella, you know, of, uh, of best rounds of shot and, you know, with, with the consequences and, you know, kind of everything on the line, I just played great. Um, the crowd of, you know, the way I prepared and the way I kind of kept my head down and, um, you know, there's, there's such thing as home course advantage and disadvantage and I think I'm, I had them, I'm, you know, both of them working today. So just thrilled with the outcome and, um, you know, gosh, what a, what a fun day. You had a couple awesome up and downs on 15 and 17. How are you pulling that off with so much pressure on the line and your friends and family out there following you around? 17 was a lot prettier than, than 15s, but um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, it's no secret. Like, I'm very lucky to know the course and kind of know what you're comfortable with and to have hit a lot of the shots before. Um, 17, I'm really proud of. I could drop 20 balls there and, and, and not do that again. Um, you know, not so much, you know, how do we hit this close, but, you know, what's, what's the best putt, you know, we can have. Um, it was... Literally, like you know, in my in my you know kind of notes for myself, it's you know do not go long, and um, yeah, I'm I'm really proud of that up and down. And I will be for a long time. So, all right, we're here with Andreas. Grew up in Norway, now lives in Florida. Here at the uh, U.S. Open qualifier in Newport Beach. What a journey! Yeah, I mean, I uh, came in last night at like 1 a.m. Got about four hours of sleep and haven't seen either of these courses before, so expectations were low and. Just really excited to get it done. Well, you sure did. Um, I believe you had 16 birdies out there. So what was working for you uh, through those two rounds today? That's the torrid pace. You know, it, it was weird. It was so up and down. And I make a few birdies, and I'm like, oh, now I'm in it. And then make a double or a few bogus, and I'm like, oh, now I'm out of it. <laughs> so what brought you to this qualifier down here in Southern California? I actually thought it was last Monday. And so uh, when I signed up, we uh, played on the Latin American Tour, and we were going to be in Tijuana. So I figured it'd be perfect. It'd be just right across the border. But I took the date, wrong date, and uh, we actually flew and played in Cancun last week. So it was, you know, just a hassle to get here on time. Wow, that's a wild ride, but congratulations. You're uh, going to the U.S. Open. Thank you very much. All right, All right Richard. Well, you started off the day with back-to-back -back eagles during that first round 64, the low round of the day on that course. Uh, how did that jump start things? I would say, you know, pretty well uh, it was uh man that was a crazy i've never done anything like that before um first one i mean I hold out from 96 yards which was a huge bonus i couldn't see it because it's over a hill and the second one the next hole about 115 yards and hit the ridge went up and disappeared back to back hole so it's never seen it or done it myself ever and uh, it was a crazy way to start the day and or start the round kind of and um but after that happened, I was kind of like, eh, you know, it, it could just be my day. So, yeah. All right, we're here, we're here with Kevin, fresh off of the third at the NCAAs last week. Yep. Now you just qualify for the U.S. Open as a medalist. That's quite the run. How'd that feel? feels really good. I feel really, I feel really good. I um, finished uh, third in the NCAA last week and kind of here and had my buddy Kitty for me. So um, this whole week has been really, really good for me. Yeah. So you're the medalist last year at Lake Merced. What are you going to take from that experience at the U.S. Open last year and bring it to this season? Uh, yeah, like last year, uh, I played at U.S. Open. I actually learned a lot of things uh, from the tournament last year. Um, so this year, when I go to Pebble, I just want to um, use the things that I, l that I l learned from last year and hopefully I can play better and, uh, yeah, make the cut first and then hopefully I can play better, yeah. All right, well, congratulations and good luck. All right, and we're here with Hayden, another qualifier for the U.S. Open. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does. Never thought I would uh, hear that, but today's the day. Well, I'm just bringing good news. You had 14 birdies today. What was working for you? Obviously a lot. Uh, you know, I just stayed patient, and the putter was just the biggest thing. I switched to a new uh, Kevin Burns putter, and ever since I've been putting lights out with it, and uh, obviously ball striking was good. Well, you just told me you're a weekday player. You haven't made a weekend yet. Exactly. I think we like your odds for next week. I hope so. I'm trying to be a weekend golfer next week. All right. Well, good luck to you and congratulations. Perfect. Thank you.